Behind me are the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is made of steel. Now steel, like most materials, expands when it gets hot. In hot weather, the entire double arch expands and the top of the upper arch is about 18 centimetres higher than it is in colder weather. Now if the bottom of the lower arch was cemented into its concrete supports at each end, cracks would appear in the steel because of the constant bending and the bridge would collapse. Though metals can bend, continuous back and forth bending usually leads to failure. If you bend a hair clip a few times, it eventually breaks. So how was the problem of the continuous expansion and contraction of the steel arch solved? Well, the entire weight of the bridge, some 50,000 tonnes, rests on four gigantic hinges, two on either side of the bridge. There's one, and there's another one not visible on the right. There are another two at the other end of the arch. Sorry about the camera movement, but the ferry I was on was moving around a bit too much. Now in the simple animation, I've obviously massively exaggerated the expansion and contraction, but you can see that the hinges simply open and close as the arch expands and contracts. And so the bridge has been going strong since 1932. The towers at each end play no part at all in supporting the bridge. They are there for decoration. The weight of the deck and the arch is supported entirely by the arch. For what it's worth, as the arch expands, the steel rods that hang from the arch and that support the deck expand as well. So the deck actually barely moves up and down at all. It really is an incredible structure. Thanks for watching. See you next time.